Adam Lerner, BrooklynPhotoWorks.com, and today we are in Squarespace. And we're in Squarespace today so I can show you guys a really cool feature called Announcement Bar. Now, before we get to that, I just wanted to mention that if you guys are looking to sign up for a Squarespace website, all you got to do is go to squarespace.com slash Adam, and you will save 10% on your Squarespace subscription. Now, if you're not quite ready to buy, you can just go to Squarespace, check it out for two weeks, no credit card involved. If it's something you love as much as I do, then enter that code Adam, A-D-A-M, and you will save 10%. All right. So let's get right to the announcement bar. So here we are, we're on my website. We're logged into the back end of Squarespace. It's got the nice little toolbar over here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to go and select design. Then we're gonna select announcement bar. And right here, it says enable announcement bar. Now what's gonna probably happen when you get there is it's going to say disable announcement bar because that's the default setting. But I'm gonna select enable announcement bar and I am going to enter some text over here which I've already selected so I don't have typos. Oh, that's the wrong text. So let's enter this again. Um, check out my um, men's fashion Studio uh, work with IZOD. Check out my men's fashion studio work with IZOD. Cool, that's gonna be my text. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to add a URL. Now, I don't want an external URL, meaning I don't want to go off of Squarespace site. I wanna stay within my website. And I've already created this gallery and it's a hidden gallery. What that means is it's not a gallery that's accessible when you land on my site unless you have that special link. So what that means is that I cl click on content and it, I select go down here and I click on IZOD lookbook. Boom, like that. So what that's gonna do is it's going to select that internal gallery right there, and you guys will see this in just a moment. So then I hit save, perfect. So let's forget about this, we'll get out of that, and we're just gonna go to my website, and I'm gonna demonstrate what I just did. So here we go, we land on my website, and we hit let's go, and the very first thing you guys see here is this banner right there that says, check out my men's fashion studio work with iZod. Now, if you look down here, there is no IZOD URL because, or navigation because I have not yet incorporated it into my navigation. I'm creating this little call to action here because I want to track and monitor and see how much traffic I get to this new URL. And by having it as call to action, hopefully when people land on my site, they will take a look over there. So let's click on that and boom, there it goes right to that IZOD men's fashion gallery. And you can see, we can just click on it like that. Um, you can obviously look at the whole gallery as thumbnails, so it takes on all the same properties of my other photo galleries. And if you go into other photo galleries, for example, that call to action is always going to be locked into the top of the screen there unless you, little, you exit out and it disappears. So there you guys go. That is a call to action, a really cool feature if you've got new work, if you really wanna highlight something that's, that's special or different about your website, you can create the announcement bar. And it's, as you saw how easy it is to enable that bar, it's just as easy to disable that bar and or change it up. So remember guys, if you wanna save 10% on Squarespace, go to squarespace.com slash Adam. If you have any questions or comments about this or any other photography related questions, please leave them below and we'll see you soon.